bam, it's your boy Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk with no short one just for you. Yes, this is going to be about um living in Germany. Living in Germany. The pros of living in Germany. I don't know about no cons, but if I think of some, I'll let you know, fam. But anyway, the pros of living here in Europe is different. It's very different. It's very different here. Yes, it is. You know what I'm saying? There's not many um, melanated people here. Not many, or oh, as African American, unless they with the military. You may have very few just expats and things like that. But far as living here in, in Europe, Germany especially, is a great experience. Germany is surrounded by nine borders. Nine borders. I can't name all the countries right now, so don't got them acts. Like Italy, France, Switzerland, <laughs> you know, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Netherlands and things like that. I know, right? But it's a beautiful place to live in, you know, it's safe. One thing I can say about Germany is real safe. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and out this place now since the 80s. You no, know? yes, yeah, since the 80s. I know Uncle Punk look very young. I know I do, huh? <laughs> yeah, but since the 80s. And since the 80s, I have never heard about anyone getting shot and killed. Um, you might have a couple of fish fights and things like that, but you rarely see things like that. Those are most like inside um, maybe clubs and shit like that. Falls out in the street, you don't see too many, um, too much bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's real safe. You can walk around with your jewelry on, you know, think about someone trying to jump you and take your stuff. No, no, not saying that it cannot happen, but most likely it will not happen. You know what I'm saying? It's very different here. Your people are different here. Germans are very, very curious people. They're like cats. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they look at you and they'll stare at you. A lot of Americans get nervous because they don't know what they're thinking. But a lot of Germans, they're not racist. They just look at you because they're curious. You no, know? they then see the Americans since the 40s. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing new to them, really. They see your TV, all the soldiers that have been here, all the Air Force people that have been here, you know what I'm saying? So they have some kind of like, um, ties to America. They have um, festivals that they have called um, the Diplomats or the American German Volks Fest where Germans and Americans get together and drink beer. You know what I'm saying? Anything that says American on there, the Germans are going to try it. Even that nasty-ass Budweiser beer. Ugh, they bring that shit up in Germany. Drinking that shit just, just to taste it. But it's fucking piss water. How can you drink American beer if you live in Germany? Huh? Gicknish. <laughs> it doesn't go. You know what I'm saying, fam? Also, when you say, um, when you have a beer, some people say, what they say in America? See, I, I forgot so much. I know saluta, um, cheers. But here in Germany, you say bros, bros. That's P R O B S T, bros. That's what you say when you, when you drink a beer. Yes, Germany is very different than, um, in America, yes it is. Like I said, it's more safer. The healthcare system is on point. It's on point here. You don't got to pay for um, no doctors and things. All these, like in America, have deductibles and shit. When I went back there, I went to the doctor, they're like, deductible, I didn't know what the fuck that shit was, huh? Or you got to pay this amount and we pay this. I said, that's not fucking insurance. I'm paying it halfway, this and other bullshit. Nah, that's bullshit. In Europe, they pay for all your medical. Even inside the Middle East, they pay for all your um, your medical, saying, fam. So that's another Pros of living in Europe. You okay, can't say it, fam. Education is, um, I think mostly free too. I think mostly free. You got a certain time limit to use it. I think after you got doing a four year college, they might give it to five years. They might have failed one, one year or something like that, but it's still being paid for and things like that, fam. It's very, um, very peaceful here. It's very peaceful. When you wake up, you're not stressed out. You know what I'm saying? You're not really stressed out too much. You go, you do your job, you know, you come back home. You're not walking inside like a gas station, right? Where there's a thousand guys in front of you ask for money and shit like that. You don't see that shit, dude. You don't see people walk on the streets talking to themselves that much like they do like in America. When I was last time in, in um, I was in Atlanta, people walk around talking to themselves. Like, that's the fucking sickness we have here, fam. It is. That's why I said, live in America shortens your life. It does. Have lots of homies, you know, they're dead and gone, you know what I'm saying? Fam, dead and gone. Younger, younger than me, you know what I'm saying? These dudes, you know, healthy looking. They're looking healthy, but now they're goddamn dead. But like I tell you before, if you look at a person from America, the same age as you live in Europe and look at them, you're going to see a difference. They look more tired and they're more stressed out and things like that because more stressful in America, fam. You know what I'm saying? But for us living in Germany... It's a very cool place. The food, and I not too much from the German food, you know. I like me a Rinswurst. A Rinswurst is a beef sausage. Pause. No homo. You know what I'm saying? And some French fries. French fries, they call it Pommes Fritz. Pommes Fritz. 
You know, say people say, but they say palm fritz, but palm is fritz. That's the real pronunciation of French fries here in Germany. It's a very nice place. The women are nice too. You know what I'm saying? Be careful about the ladies here. Be careful about the ladies. The ladies um real independent. I see that here. They're real independent. They're not real like what can you do for me type. What can you do for me? You know, I'm poor. Can you, what can you do for me? These women here, they um they be on point. As far as education wise, they go to school. You ain't gonna see but a, a dropout. I never met a dropout here who said they haven't finished school. I've never met one there. Right? And um, they go to universities, they have good jobs, they take care of themselves. You don't see too many of the girls out there um, on drugs, taking all this all the crazy wild shit. You may have a few things that's going on, but it's really not much here, I'll tell you, fam. Really not much here. The drug scene is not so much here. But Germany has definitely changed. Definitely has changed. Now you have lots of foreigners here. You know, we get more and more foreigners, then things start. Deteriorating, you know, saying for us deteriorating things like that. Before kids here go, they'll learn a job for three years, right? Called um, be a learning. You know, they learn three years and they'll say get them a job and work at a company. It was much it was easier then. But now you got some influx of immigrants come over here taking their jobs, so it's making it more harder for the German um the German people. Same as in America, all immigrants come, it makes it more harder for the natural born um the US US citizens there, right there. But like I say, living over here is very nice, you know what I'm saying? It's very nice. In four hours, I'm in Amsterdam. In about two and a half hours, I could be in Maastricht. That's in the Netherlands, Highland, you know what I'm saying? For you um 420 boys out there, you know. One hour I can drive this way, I'm in France. There's lots of things you come and see, you go and visit, you know, and um travel, you know what I'm saying, travel. I tell the um, brothers that come over here, you know what I'm saying, they get a job there, so get your wife over here too, you know, show them this experience, not just you over here bullshitting around. Take them out there, they want to see France, Paris, and all this London, things like that. You are close body things. So as far as working and living in Europe, <laughs> you know, it's a good thing. It's a real good thing, fam. Yes, it is a good thing. But like I say, um, if you want to come out here, I'm going to tell you how you can get out here. You can get your contracting job, too. I'm going to tell you how to do something, right? Listen up. First off, if you got you have no criminal record, no criminal record. Why? Because you got to go, um, they ain't not going to accept it. Have no criminal record, have your passport. So if you have no criminal record, have a passport, and you're 18 years and above, looking for jobs. Indeed.com, clearancejobs.com, monster.com. SimplyBuilder.com, anything you put in there, you know what I'm saying? Just find work, you know, just search for it because you can't find it. I met young bloods out there in Afghanistan, you no know, 19 years old, come to the bathroom. Dude said, hey, sir, look, that's a little young dude. That's, hey, what you doing here, man? He said, I work. You know what I'm saying? He said, sir, can help me get another job, which I did. I got hooked up, got another job, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I felt good about that to see the little young bud coming out here, out in the deserts and stuff like that, you know, want to work. You know what I'm saying? I want to work. But the accommodations out here, people, you say come to Kuwait or some other place out there, that, that, <gasps> people get scared. They don't want to do it. But the accommodations are fucking very beautiful. The ones I had were very beautiful. I'm talking about look out your window. I'm looking look at the goddamn beach and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? If you don't believe me, it's checking on um, like expats living in the Middle East in their living conditions. You got people living from Kenya, African places, living in Qatar now, living fucking high rises, 40 floor above the water, just looking down like, Damn, they would never, have, they would never have nothing like that then. They would have never had nothing like that for me too. Would never had nothing like that if I haven't put the step forward and say, okay, this is what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? This is what I want to do. I want to travel the world. I want to travel. I want to see things. You know what I'm saying? You travel the world, you see things. It opens you up. It opens your mind up. Like, ah, oh, the shit you were thinking before was really bullshit. So I suggest, fam, please come on out here. Come out to the Middle East. Come out to Germany. Come out somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Come out. Get away from that shit, dear. If you have no criminal record, get your passport and apply for some jobs. You'll get it, fam. You'll get it. And I'm, I guarantee you this year, you'll come back in the comments and say, oh, that was the best goddamn move I made. I got my ass away from this goddamn hood. All these gangs and shooting and fighting every goddamn night to something peaceful. You know, me and my old lady and my kid, we living peaceful now. You know what I'm saying? That's the main goal, to live peaceful. And I'm my fan. Peace.